Hello Aries, it's your turn for July reading. Um, dates to keep in mind, July 2nd, um, there's a solar eclipse in Cancer. July 16th is a lunar partial eclipse in Capricorn. So if you have any of those in your chart placements and also, uh, I believe Mark or uh, July 1st is when Mars goes into Leo. So fire is kind of like, you know, in your element to fire. So um, that could affect you in some way. Also, we're, right now we have a Saturn, um, Pluto, and I believe uh, Mercury going retrograde. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. All right, let's get into your reading. I pre-shuffled the cards, so all I need is this. So the Queen of Wands, the Tower, Three of Pentacles, and the Justice card, and the Six of Cups in Reverse, Ace of Wands, Five of Pentacles. The Devil card in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Judgment card. So I feel like Aries going into this month, you have the Queen of Wands, so that's pretty much in your element. Um, but also, too, it could indicate, you know, you've gone through uh, maybe a period where you're doing a lot of soul searching, um, where you're trying to see things from a different light, um, a different perception. Um, I feel like you're coming into your own power, um, your own strength. Uh, maybe you've gone through a period of, you know, not really... Um, wanting to take action in things or uh, maybe just sitting um, in your um, in your throne or in your authority and trying to observe things. I know a lot of Aries have been doing a lot of healing, a lot of self-reflection, so you're probably not getting out much, but I feel like some of you, you know, you're in reflection of something. And going forward, you have the tower. So maybe in reflection of things in the past or maybe things that recently happened that really knocked you down, really discouraged you, um, maybe defeated. Maybe it's a self-reliance defeat or something that caused a lot of unsteady ground. Uh, maybe with you and another person and a relationship maybe uh, something recently happened that kind of shook you up that you didn't see coming in some way but I just feel like you're taking it well um, the queen of wands is about you know courage is about a woman or you know it's not gender based but like someone who's trying to take control of their life um, but with the tower here right by that I just feel like you're you're taking action for your life, you're taking action for yourself, you're evaluating things that suddenly happen. Um, so maybe in this month, you know, you're at a good place, you know, water, water usually doesn't do well with fire, especially you're in cancer season. So um, it may be a little bit unnerving having to deal with the energies and stuff, but I feel like ultimately you're in a good place of transformation. And you've been working on this place within yourself when it comes to, you know, unsettling uh, debates, unsettling things that <clears throat> you really don't like. But I feel like you're working on those things because also the three of... Um, so you're, you're working on those things that make you feel uncomfortable, 
um, you're working with people, you're working um, within yourself. And I feel like this is such an improvement. You know, you've been trying, trying to understand why things didn't work. Like in the past, you could have been reflecting on something that why can't it work together? But I feel like you're still reflecting it in some way why this tower is here for you. Like you're uncertain, like why can't it just work together? Um, but some things aren't meant to work together. Then the justice. So, you know, it is pretty much the energy. It's not really necessary. You could be dealing with a Libra, yes. But I just feel like um, when it comes to you know maybe court cases dynamic situations that are unbalanced i feel like there is a balance you know the tower here is to shake up your world or shake up things within your relationship dynamic but i feel like you're trying to understand things a lot better and try not to come from a place of you know victimization but you're really understanding that some things are meant to happen and it's not really questioning it anymore if it was a past dynamic when it comes to working with people. But I feel I feel like you're taking it good or taking an inventory of what happened or recently has happened. But I feel like you're trying to, in the midst of this chaos, you're still trying to work together um, and bring that balance. So you could be a little bit shooken up by something, but I feel like you're taking it well. So, nine, or six of cups. So, yeah, something that's involving other people, you know, it could be a family dynamic. It could be, you know, kids involved. Um, maybe you're involved in a family dynamic situation of the past or you're still considering these things. Um, but I just feel like whatever the situation is in July, I just feel like you're you're trying to withstand this storm or this tower moment as best you can i feel like you're trying to work through a difficult situation whether it involves people whether it involves you know working with them in some form or dynamic but you're trying to bring a balance in this chaos energy also it could reflect you know family past dynamic situations that are past but i feel like you're moving forward you know you're not sitting it anymore i feel like you're trying to let go of the past you're trying to you know push forward on something new and then um five of pentacles so maybe you lost something um especially when it comes to a past dynamic you lost something of some sort maybe some money uh, maybe you lost your stability within a relationship that you wanted to work uh, or this other person wanted you to work with them um, but maybe in some cases you felt left out in the cold you felt like there's no way to work on this when I want to move forward um, maybe you're struggling with that um, but I feel like you're overcoming that um, a lot of you have been healing, a lot of you have been taking time out for yourself to really reflect on letting go of things in your life that don't serve you, but also there's still some chaos here. And then you have the devil reverse. Yeah, setting yourself free. So I feel like you're setting yourself free, you're letting things go, you're letting these power struggles not, not pierce you down anymore, and I feel like you're moving may have been a challenge when this tower came in and I just feel like it was to push you to move forward not to make you feel lonely or out of the cold I feel like you don't have all the love in your heart whether it's a family dynamic situation going on you know you still are hopeful to work with them I feel like whoever that may be but I just feel like you know you're trying to free yourself from it and then the eight of pentacles so maybe there was no there was no moving forward with this person that came in in the past or that in the past you wanted to you know potentially work with them but there was no there was nothing involving this other person that wanted to work with you uh, maybe it was a one-sided relationship where 
one wanted to work on their money, maybe you possibly, where you wanted to work on building, you know, your empire, building your job, your career, maybe it was a past business situation going on where you had maybe a family business or situation that wasn't getting enough resources. So I feel like with the four um, pentacle, you know, you're, you're holding yourself together for the most part in working on your stability, working on what's important to you. You're not holding to the past anymore. I feel like you're letting it go. But with the four of <coughs> pentacles, you know, you're focusing on you. And that's most of Aries, 99% of Aries, they do focus on themselves. But I feel like there's someone here that you wanted to work with, Aries, but they didn't want to work with you. And so they left you out in the cold. That could be this past person that wasn't working with you in the same direction. So they had to leave. They had to let go of you so you can move alone and move forward. And Aries, most of Aries, what I know, you know, you wanted to move forward, but they weren't moving forward with you. So you had to leave them or they left you and you're learning to release yourself of that. So yeah, um, you're letting go of these strongholds, these things that aren't working for you. And I feel like there's still some pain with it. Whoever left you out in the cold or you left them out of the cold, you know, there could be some question behind, you know, I wanted to work with you, but they weren't willing to work. So yeah, you're getting clarity about the situation. I feel like a lot of you have been going through this place of transformation when it comes to, you know, your strongest relationships, family dynamics, or even a relationship dynamic in the past that you're still thinking about, but I feel like you're trying to move forward in a more positive way. So I feel like the judgment here is, you know, the universe, your angels are here to help you clear out this negativity, clear out this um, bondage that you may have been bondage, this maybe stronghold that you may have been stronghold of the past and feeling let go and feeling like there was no success. You know, you work, you put a lot of work into something, I feel like with the aid of pentacles but I feel like you're moving forward and you know you're not alone at it even though at times you feel like alone but I feel like you're moving forward and you're getting the clarity to move forward from releasing you know the past from releasing things maybe in a family dynamic um, that got you really shook up in life um, so anyways I hope this resonates with one of you out there bye bye